Hello, hi. This is Scorpio Spy here. We're gonna start with your oracle, my dear Aries, or hello, cross watchers. Welcome and welcome back all. What is the most prominent message for the sign of Aries, please? What is a message of significance? Where can we provide any insight, guidance? What are we gonna talk about today? Okay, you have the hope card. You have the transgression card, Aries. You have the creator card. Jealousy, oh no, envy, punishment, and changing course. A 26 becomes an eight here. You guys have some sort of idea that you want here. It's like, there's a passion inside of you or a feeling like a flame that's been lit in this hope card, right? But you also have a blockage and this is causing some sort of problem as it relates to the way you experience growth and abundance. Now, the thing is, this can be growth and abundance with a person as well as growth and abundance in your finances or physical material, you know, hope, anticipation, bright prospects and wish 43 becomes a seven. We have a five here. Transgression, flaws, contradictions, mistake. I also feel like you guys don't think. I don't know. There, there's some sort of sense that maybe this isn't good enough or it won't go the long run. There's something about your dreams and desires for that feeling that you're feeling, okay? Okay. If this is you, I mean, this could be someone else, right, toward you, but I'm going to read it as you. We have creator, catalyst, maker, mother, father, parental, spousal energy, but this is also that growth and expansion we're talking about that you're having trouble achieving. And the thing is, as creator energy, she's looking directly at both of those cards. So it's kind of like, yeah, I see what I want. I see where this could go, but I also see the problem and the troubles to get there, the blockages. All right, fair enough, fair enough, Aries. Let's pull for Aries, please. Knight of Shields, ah. Someone's on pause, someone's on hold. Stagnant. Do you not know where to turn at this point? Okay. Let's pull for Aries, please. Left side, I call partner eight Aries. Let's see. You have the Druid immediately comes out. That's Taurus energy as well as the 10 of shields. Okay. I guess this is kind of like your energy of your longevity and your livelihood for some reason, I want to say, but this is also the legacy energy of your household. You know, how you spend your money, um, whether or not you have a spouse, if you have children, this kind of thing, like a family type situation and the hustle and bustle that comes along with it. But I feel like things are just kind of not on that level or things are just kind of bland, boring, just kind of day in and day out kind of routine that you've been experiencing here. But I feel like your main goal is this 10 of pentacles. Experiencing growth. There's something about this that you just want more, okay? You or someone else. You guys are going to have some sort of um, conversation about agreements, commitments, and contracts. This could be a financial thing, okay? I'm very drawn to this rainbow I've never noticed in this card. Your storm is passing, so hang in there especially if your finances have been kind of tumultuous, this is a sign that your the brighter days are ahead. And, you know, the rainbow is kind of a symbol of the storm passing. Also, though, I was looking at this card earlier and when I was talking about your dreams, and this is kind of like a unicorn, right? Now you have a unicorn and a rainbow. There are certain dreams that you're, and aspirations that you're reaching for here. Okay. Show me Aries, please. Let's do Aries, another card. Okay, Ten of Wands. Are you moving? Show me Aries, please. 
I also feel like you're really burdened by things not changing for the longest time. Okay, these just flew out. I'm going to read it really quick and set it back. Okay, there's an energy here. Aries, I'm going to check the bottom really quick. That you're... Yeah, there's your wand. See, this is your dream and your desire, but you're kind of not sure how to feel about a cup here. And it could be that you have multiple cups, like different people, or you're kind of scattered here about what goal to achieve first or your desires, right? So what you end up doing is kind of deciding to not act on some sort of cup and sit back and see how things evolve or even devolve if that happens. But your main focus is kind of being okay or achieving your abundance and your independence here. Financial even. Show me Aries, please. Oh my goodness, show me Aries, please. <laughs> show me Aries. Aries, please. Merlin. Taurus and Virgo here. Yeah, yeah, you are seeking some sort of solid foundation and growth. about your pinnacle. It's like you're looking where you can settle, but it's, out, it's like looking far out in the distance of your future goals. I feel like you're figuring this out right now, or you have just recently, or you're coming into it. You're having to really dig deep and figure out what's the perfect path for me so that I can achieve my king of pentacles and my 10 of pentacles. The king of pentacles does appear in the 10 of pentacles in this deck. So it feels like, you know, Actually, some of you have been working really hard here toward that goal. I mean, it's time for you to take some sort of, like, break if you have to. So this is a massage right here. Look. Do you need a massage? Let's see. She's massaging his foot. <laughs> okay, what else, please, for the sign of Aries? Looking for your stability. Okay. Because you're wanting growth. All right. And the Queen of Swords. Okay, now we have you, Aries, talking to someone. After you figure out where you're headed, maybe even in life, where your journey is taking you. Because you're on some sort of journey of self-discovery and solidity. Security. Okay, but, but now you're talking to partner B, which we haven't even pulled for yet. So we're gonna have to see who this is. Some of you may be feeling between an earth sign and an air sign, possibly Libra, Virgo, or Taurus. And you don't have to be. Let's see what partner B has to say about this so we can see what this conversation is that you're having with partner B. Tell me about partner B. Partner B can be friend, family member, neighbor, coworker, anybody in the world you have a relationship with. You can be on either side, my dear Aries. Can be vice versa. Okay. So what is this commitment that you guys are discussing, talking about? Um, there's a decision here. And you're trying to... Oh, some of you guys may be not knowing if you're able to balance both your goals and some sort of emotional endeavor here. It could feel like too much on your plate is what I'm getting. Could be Gemini as well. Show me partner B, please. Who's partner B? What do they have to say about this? They don't have to say much, do they? Why is that? Why have they not expressed to you their dreams? That could also be a factor. This could be someone who hasn't opened up to you. 
here's more Gemini energy, by the way. But they could also be happy in their home life and not wanting to change that for the time being. Let's see. Show me partner B, please. Tell me about partner B. Tell me about partner B. Ooh. You guys have a decision that's going to be shocking or partner B makes one that's going to be shocking here. Yeah. Okay. Whatever's being held back here, you guys are finally having some sort of discussion. I feel like you may be shocked to find out what partner B has to say to you or that they're shocked to find out what you have to say. And this involves a decision and where things are headed. Um, yeah, where, where is this headed? I feel like some, okay, here's the thing though. I feel like whatever comes out here, it comes out forced come out information. The information is forcefully brought out. So I don't know, cause you came out with that queen of swords, right? It's kind of like, so what is this? What are we doing? Is it this way or that way? I have a lot on my plate. I don't have time for this. You kind of don't, okay, you don't. And so partner B, while they're holding back here and not telling you, they're not expressing emotions, okay? And they're not putting efforts either. So this is someone who's kind of sitting back, but they have this idea in mind, this daydreamy idea. And I feel like they weren't planning on saying anything. Somehow, some way, this, something happens. You guys have some sort of, it feels like a confrontation. Maybe not in a mean way, but kind of like very firm. And then because of this, partner B's like, whoa, I didn't expect that. And maybe they share some things with you as well, okay? Because we've seen the Knight of Swords twice. And then you guys, you guys kind of decide what the heck's happening with that two of wands here. Tell me about partner B. Tell me about partner, whoa. Oh dear. Who had this? There was a four of swords and a nine of cups. Was it that? No, maybe not. Okay, well, we have bottom of the deck, the three of cups, four of swords, nine of cups. They're not getting what they want out of this relationship, but they're not speaking their peace. This is someone who's indulging in fantasies about like their perfect home life as well. I mean, that's not a bad thing, but I feel like this is someone who is very nostalgic or daydreamy about where things could go in their lives. I don't even know if that involves you. It probably does because of the way you're meeting right here. Nevertheless, you guys do kind of clam up. You both clam up, okay, about your relationship. So this is someone who's not speaking up. It's like muted. Okay. How does that Knight of Swords come in? I want to know how that comes in. Because this is, this stagnant energy is shaken up. I just don't see when that's happening because we're still here with this stagnant energy but it's showing us that that doesn't last forever at least tell me about i see what's going on sometimes the tower happens the universe comes in and shakes things up for you if you don't do it yourself and i feel like that's going to happen whether it's actually brought up or not so it's going to come out either way you know what i'm saying tower sometimes forces us to do things no wonder there was that forced like talking energy so somehow this is going to be found out all right okay tell me about this higher font this merlin on Aries side, please. And I also feel like, show me, hmm, justice energy. We got Libra again and the two of cups. Oh my goodness. Venus and Venus. Oh my gosh. You guys, um, you have a connection with somebody. This is a strong connection that you're feeling with someone. Now, you could also just be looking for this, but I, I, I feel like it's showing up either way. It's almost like something that you have been looking for, 
shows up here, but now that it's here, you don't know what to do with it. Maybe you don't believe it, you don't trust it, maybe you're too busy like we talked about, okay? And remember in the beginning, there were some blockages here as well. Someone could have a Cancer Venus or maybe even a Libra one, but let's see. Tell me about this Merlin, this Two of Shields for Aries. Seven of Cups, yeah. Remember we were kind of, in the beginning those cards fell out and it was saying, I don't know what I'm going to do with this cup. And here it is again. You guys are having to make a decision here. It feels like you have a lot of things going on or goals or aspirations. And this kind of fell in your lap. And it also feels, yeah, it feels like something that you've been waiting for, but maybe your timing is off even. Sometimes the universe does that, you know? So I feel like you also get a little bit, uh, I wanted to say flustered, but you get a little bit taken aback by whatever is going to be revealed here, okay? Tell me about this justice, this seven of cups on Aries' side. Flustered, really? Is it bad? Tell me about justice. Seven of, oh my gosh. Yeah, what are you going to do here? What are you going to do about this soulmate energy that's coming in for you, Aries? What do you do? What do you do? I also feel like those of you that someone has shown up, you kind of doubt it and you're, you're like, I don't know what to make of this. Like we said, there's other stuff going on, but also you may not trust it or you may not believe that this is what you've been asking for for the time being, although you do feel it. So listen to your intuition on that one. There's someone that's showing up here. Some of you guys watching may have a Venus Aries even, or someone does. There's someone showing up here that could be a significant relationship with you that does lead to your Ten of Pentacles, but you have some thinking and figuring out to do with the other stuff going on in your life. You see, we established this and your Ten of Pentacles, this is like wrapping this whole segment up. It's perfect. Ten of Pentacles came out with your first Hierophant card. That's the card of commitments as well. And so here's the thing. You have a lot of weighing up options in multiple cards. You have contracts going on here in most likely financial situations with maybe a group of people or companies. That's, I mean, that's pretty much everything, right? But you could also be reviewing um, contracts. There's like paperwork, okay? Or involving a home, okay? So you're kind of like, what am I gonna do with my household, my work, and this relationship? Because they're all different kinds of commitments coming up at the same time. It's like, what do I do? What do I prioritize? You see what I'm saying? I feel like once you learn about the way that you're connecting to somebody, you start considering this Four of Wands unity with them and whether or not it is going the long run here. Show me about the Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Partner B side. What is this Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles? Partner B side? Let me take a sip of my water really quick. Sparkling. <laughs> what is with this partner? This is somebody who is very, they're not open. Like they're just not open, okay? Um, however, whatever does come out that you do find out or they find out whatever the case about the way you guys see each other or your aspirations for your even separate lives, if that's the thing. This is someone who is well equipped to handle any type of situation and they're not afraid to get their hands dirty. Basically, this is somebody who is has like staying power. So this is someone who works out challenges. This is somebody who's able to, who puts their head into it and actually does the work. Whoever this is, 
we did see this there was this no we did see this card come up for you over here so oh okay i need to see what they're doing tell me about this four of pentacles this four of swords nine of cups partner b high priestess it could be a pisces Queen of Swords, that's what came out here. You want to hear something from this, you want them to say something or do something. And they're not doing it. They're very guarded. Tell me about this High Priestess, the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands and High Priestess. magician so they do it okay <laughs> uh oh you have an ace of cups with this person you do have the ace of cups with partner b wow and everything else we've seen let's see what they what they want i feel like they're going to First of all, you guys have one person who kind of wants the other to show interest and kind of refuses to make the move for You guys both do this, but something's going to get shaken up here where people are actually going to be able to put one foot in front of the other and figure out what the heck is going on. Okay, <laughs> let's see here. What does partner B want with partner A, Aries? Oh my goodness, look at that. The moon, the two of cups, and the eight of cups. They don't know. They don't know if your connection can go further here. I feel like they have emotions. They are experiencing connection with you. They may not know. Let me see here. You guys are really feeling each other out. It's like people are not putting themselves on the line pretty much. Yeah, there's something here that needs to be spoken about and there's no clarity about feelings. That's exactly what partner B is saying and it's showing up on your side. So this is cleared up. Your clarity is had. You do get the sun after the moon. You've made a connection with somebody. There's emotions here. But it's kind of like needing that to alleviate, the uncertainty to alleviate. And it will. Or at least that's what they want. So let's see, what does partner A want with partner B? So let me get this straight. You guys like each other, but there's this like coy type of energy going on. Uh, like both of you pretending like you, well, okay. To be fair, I feel like partner B is kind of not doing it f maybe first, okay? But then partner A, Aries is like, well, maybe they don't like me because <laughs> they act this way. And this could be this person's personality. They seem very guarded or just kind of takes a while to open up, especially if they're Pisces here, to get to know their inner world, okay? Is this someone who doesn't want to open up to just anybody? And maybe they don't like to appear vulnerable, okay? So because of this, or maybe just to you, it could be just to you, maybe they're intimidated, who knows? But it's like they're afraid to say what they're thinking and afraid to say what they want. And then Aries is over here, because you know Aries is kind of more blunt and more open, well, stereotypically at least. And Aries is like, well, I'm looking for signs, but they're not giving me any. 
It's like, I, I don't know how they feel. I don't know what they're thinking. They just kind of are. Is this your story? Whoever's watching? <laughs> it's like, okay. What does partner A want with partner B? What does partner A want with partner B? Ooh. Don't do that, Aries. Don't do that to me. <laughs> what does partner A want with partner B? I'll tell you in a second. What does partner A... Okay, wait a second. Everything's flying out. One sec. Okay, so there's... Someone's waiting to speak up. Okay, we see that. So this is referring to partner B. <gasps> oh. This is someone you can't resist, maybe physically, or they can't resist you physically or chemically, but... There's a there's like a fear of rejection because somebody here is really hot or attractive with this empress energy, okay? There's hot stuff here. Or cuz remember this creator energy, right? That's the empress. It could be mother father, it doesn't matter the gender or whatever. You don't know if they want growth the same way as you. Well, it could also be that you're not able to. So, let's see. What's partner A want with partner B, please? What was that? Does partner A want with partner B? That was the four of pentacles. A want with B? Uh-oh. <laughs> you Okay, so the, the ace of cups is here. Some of you have two aces that you have to decide between. One could be a Capricorn as well. What does partner A want with partner B? But this is you kind of feeling like, I don't know. And we're seeing confusion in two cards on your side as well. So you may not, yeah, you need more information about your, maybe finances even. We're seeing the um, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, so I feel like the one Ace we haven't really seen, if I forgot, maybe I did. One Ace we haven't seen is the Ace of Swords. And that is the clarity and the spoken word and yeah, just just all that that's kind of lacking here. So that could be worked on and I do feel like this is going to be shaken up and stuff is going to come out here. But um, Aries, it looks like you need more information. We started your read like that and we're going right back to it. So it's saying you need more information. You could be looking forward to your stability. Um, and you, you're kind of blocking this love interest or you're just feeling not so sure about it for the time being. Although, we discussed how you feel about this, if this is your reading, okay? So, it's up to you. Let's see, what is uh, the possible outcome between partner A and partner B? Whoa. Yep, three of cups. So you have camaraderie. Okay, so you're showing up here, Aries, because you came out with a, the Virgo Hermit the Crab. And you're investigating um, your relationships here. Could be friendships, could be alliances, maybe even just this relationship. But you're kind of looking around here, looking for information. That's just kind of what it is, okay? Distance. This could indicate distance, both of these cards. The thing is... This looks like, okay, with the world and the sun, this looks like a good opportunity. But, yeah, just but, okay? We're just kind of looking for information. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Looking for information in this reading. And there's Mercury here too, so there could be a need for that clarity that we talked about being spoken, just saying. Um, and in the meantime, you're kind of independent here, the Nine of Pentacles. Let's go to the what you can expect. For the advice guidance about your love situation here, or whatever this is, if it's money or what, I don't know. Okay, advice guidance, Lisa Aries. What can Aries expect? How to best deal with the situation? Moving forward. Advice guidance for Aries. <laughs> this just went over the top. What's unlikely? Advice guidance for Aries. What can we expect? No need to worry. Okay. Advice guidance for Aries. 
two cards. Okay, you're improving the health of your romance. Or just improving your health, period. But this is up to you. We talked about this. You have some internal seeking that we're doing here. Or just looking for information. Maybe you don't have all the information. What else? What's going on here for the unlikely? For Aries. Improving the health of your relationships. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. Unlikely worth waiting for. Wow. Past life relationship. This is a past life relationship. You haven't known each other before. Some of you, um, maybe it may be saying not to wait for your past here to change. But this is also saying, because that, that may not be worth waiting for. This is also saying to not wait. Let's see what else comes out, though, first. Tell me about this. No need to worry for Aries, please. Because it says divine timing is at work. See? No need to worry about your finances and career. Wow. So you don't have to wait. Well, if you feel comfortable. Let's see. Tell us about what's on the bottom. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Don't worry about finance. Oh my gosh. Tell me about <laughs> romance. And I feel like everybody is worried about finance lately though, and it makes sense of what's going on in the world. So it's coming up a lot in readings, just saying. Tell me about romance and improving health, please. Although I hear finance is the main cause of divorce, like financial issues. So it does come up in readings anyway. Tell me about romance and improving health. Mm -hmm. You guys have some revelations to be had between you and somebody uh, in a romantic type of connection that's kind of like two of cups. So you can improve your relationship with this person because it says getting to know each other and as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and once that happens is going to improve the health of a situation ship it's up to you if you're going to separate here you might separate with that hermit energy you guys actually may feel like it's not worth waiting for and you decide to go into some financial endeavor instead but your finances are going to be okay if you were concerned so it says it's up to you because um, you may decide to go into a separation if you want to. And this means that time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Advice, guidance, please. For Aries, how to best deal with the situation. Part two. Oh. Confidence is your key to success with your finances. That's nice. And conclusions are within reach. Ooh, you're going to find something out here pretty soon. And your confidence will be restored in your financial situation. Vice guidance, please. Your hard work is paying off. You see new moon and Leo new moon and Capricorn. And hold your vision. Hold your vision. Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve here. Um, it's up to you. It says it's up to you to hold your vision and it will pay off here to have confidence. I also feel like it's up to you during a separation. That is when you actually have clarity with your vision about what you're doing here. Because it says time apart is on the horizon. And maybe the decision is made in separation, guys. Maybe that's what happens here. So your hard work is paying off with finances, but also in romance, because it's going to improve as you reveal your innermost selves. There's something to be said, ladies and gents, okay? Uh, be confident here. And don't wait, apparently. But divine timing is at work in your love life. There's a pause coming up, guys. A pause. That's what this is. Yep. All right. Expect a pause and then new energy to change or move forward in the way you decide because it's up to you. Okay? Okay. I love you so very much. Hope this was your read and I hope it made sense. Oh, hit the like. I forgot to tell you a million times ago. Hit the like if you will. It really helps out around here and I appreciate it. And I love you so very much. Hope to see you next time, guys. Kisses.
BAIK